Mr. William McRae, I wish the chief of police, I'm not his boss, you are, wouldn't leave just prior to the public comment so that he could hear this. But how can you support the chief of police maintaining his position as chief of police when he lied to the public and to the commission and the mayor, saying that he was here for the long haul and then he puts in an application for Cincinnati, doesn't get a job and can just walk back in just like Ed Mitchell did in uh, Tampa. It, it, it's disgraceful. A black employee could never, ever do such a thing. It just, you wouldn't allow it. Uh, another black police officer has been fired, uh, Mr. Bulliba. I'm sure he made some mistakes, but he didn't break any car windows on a drunken rampage. He didn't beat handcuff suspects on CNN. He won officer of the year last year, so you go from officer of the year to the worst officer in Palm Beach County and get fired for a few mistakes. It, you know, that doesn't happen to white officers. It's, it's still shameful and disgraceful. Ed Mitchell, who you talk so highly of, had an opportunity to mitigate that for him as well. It doesn't happen for black employees. I can't make this stuff up. None of you guys care because none of you guys ever open your mouth, none of you guys ever do anything about it. It's shameful, it's disgraceful. Mr. Corrigan and Mr. Giles have been warning you and telling you of discrimination, retaliation, corruption within this city. And it's not just them, it's so many people have been telling you, but you guys won't do anything about it. You don't do your job. That's why you shouldn't be elected again, Mayor. I hope you don't, I hope you go with Ed. Um, it's disgraceful. Claudia McKinnon, legal department is a disgrace. When you lose a big case, don't just take Zoe off because she's a disaster in the courtroom. Make Claudia earn some of that $220,000 and go try a case instead of sending taxpayers' monies out to all these firms and wasting our money on losing causes and supporting the discrimination and retaliation that this city continues on a continuing basis. It's, it's shameful. It's, it's really shameful. Um, when your officer hurt my arm in here, at your, at your orders and your votes, the chief wrote an email to all the police officers the next day saying how professional he was and how, how much restraint he used. So when I made a complaint, it didn't mean anything. He was exonerated. He was exonerated, but he won't be exonerated in court, neither will the city. So, I mean, it, it's just so many things going on in the city, and you guys throwing out like it's sunshine. The city's facing economic hardships. It's facing water shortages. It's facing so many disasters, and then people have the nerve to say that this is a well-run city. It's not. Unfortunately, it's not. And hopefully, you guys will hire someone for city administrator, or city manager, who won't make anywhere near that money. It's a disgrace. It's a rape of the taxpayers' coffers. The the pensions that he's gonna get for the rest of his life is shameful. It's disgusting, and it should be to any taxpaying citizen in West Palm Beach to have to pay him $20,000 a month for having been a disaster to this city, not an asset. I don't know who wrote that article for the Post, but they need to put the bad side in with the good side. Thank you, Mr. McCray. Um, Stephen Large, if you would come to this post.